New Libra, welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I'd like to do is I'm going to give you a relationship advice reading on how, in fact, can you improve or enhance your relationship or your existing relationships. I've decided to use my tarot deck today also uh, with a few additional oracle cards to just give you a bit more parting advice. Ladies and gentlemen, if this reading resonates, give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, leaders, please take a few moments to do so now. And once again, this reading is valid until the end of next month. Okay, so let's go on and get started. So basically, the basic question that I presented to the tarot is, you know, it's regarding your current relationship. And what do you, in fact, need to learn uh, about the circumstances of your relationship and what do you need to kind of know to kind of enhance it, you know? So I decided to go on and select the two cards here we have, in addition to the third card there falling to the bottom of the deck. So what I'm like to focus on is what is needed here to kind of maximize the growth with respect to your issue, okay? Um, prior to getting your reading, I'd like to just go on and just make a few general observations here. You have a predominance of cups. I mean, I'm sorry, of pentacles to cups. So it certainly shows that a lot of material and romantic issues are, in fact, you know, playing a role in your matter, okay? You have no wands card there, so that certainly shows that there seems to be a lack of passion or drive or chemistry or either direction, you know, as it relates to your relationship. You have no swords there, so I'm also feeling that there's a bit of stagnation or Perhaps a lack of boundaries or a structure might be a factor in this relationship. And last but not least, you have no major arcane or card, so destiny is certainly not at play, and nothing really is set in stone here in this reading, and you certainly have an excellent chance controlling the outcome of your situation. It's not like destiny is kind of, you know, leading you or guiding you. You have um, a decision in this matter here. Okay, looking at your numerical theme here results in a numerical number of four. So that number four suggests that you should, you want to provide some type of structure or solidify your relationship your, or your connection. So this card is hinting or this number is hinting that you need to persevere, but try to analyze your issue with a really more realistic um, approach and really do what's really needed without kind of taking concerted risks. Okay, you also have a predominance here in your main layout here of high number. So you are certainly, in fact, at the concluding stage of your situation and important changes are to be expected. Okay, let's go on and get started looking at here your four pentacles there. And that, you know, with this four, the sun is, in fact, in Capricorn. It also, ladies and gentlemen, relates, in fact, to the earth element. So it might also indicate a Virgo in or Taurus. So this card, ladies and gentlemen, is all about possessiveness, repression, selfishness, and maintaining the status quo. So you or the person that you are dealing with appear a bit selfish, you know, maybe even a bit stingy and, and you know, ungenerous and having trouble, I'm feeling, opening up. Alternatively, one of you might be more concerned about materialistic things which seem to be blocking you romantically. And one of you has a deep fear of loss and perhaps a bit paranoid all the time. I'm kind of getting that there's also a deep fear of change and greed, which appear to be causing havoc in this relationship because this card shows a very uptight type attitude which needs to be modified, ladies and gentlemen. So this card is kind of telling you to try to, you know, try to loosen up a bit. Okay, let's look at your current situation as we as it is here. We have that Queen of Cups. So this card refers to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And it's all about generosity, spontaneity, and introspection. So more attention might be, in fact, required on an emotional level for you guys. And this might be a difficult process for some of you. You know, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, it's certainly one that's needed. You know, you might also need to give either yourself a bit more space to feel more comfortable opening up or vice versa to your lover, you know. Additionally, I'm kind of feeling that since you do have the intuitive faculties 
to kind of understand your lover's feelings, try to draw upon your imagination and try to express yourself of feeling more compassionately. Okay, let's look at your challenge here. We have that nine of pentacles. So with this nine, Venus in, is in Virgo, and it also denotes an earth sign, Capricorn, or as well as a Taurus. So this card, ladies and gentlemen, is certainly all about independence, security, and even completion. So this card urges you to kind of figure out what really truly matters and really take charge in your situation. And since nines, ladies and gentlemen, tend to denote options, the challenge here is to kind of give up vacillating and make an informed decision. You know, really, you know, because for keeping your attentions and goal in perspective will kind of bring about the resolution I'm feeling that, you know, your heart so desires. So your challenge then, ladies and gentlemen, is to kind of try to have faith that your efforts and, in fact, your abilities to kind of curve extravagance will ultimately bear fruit, bringing the result that you're that you so want, you know? Thus, try not to rely on yourself heavily to the detriment of your relationship, you know? And certainly don't deal with people who compromise what you know to be intrinsically right, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, as discussed, I decided to add, you know, an additional layer to your reading and selected two cards from Sylvia Brown's deck. And basically the message here that I'm getting here is that, you know, money really doesn't make you happy. Because it's the good that lies within you, you know, so that uh, that brings about joy, you know, and, you know, ladies and gentlemen, try not to blame others for what you don't like about yourself, because sometimes when you're in relationships, the other person tends to be a mirror, and sometimes they show us when we take a peek in that mirror things that we don't want to face, you know, but we need to face those that kind of move beyond what we're feeling, Okay. And last but not least, I decided to go on and select two cards from Doreen's Virtues deck, the Romance Angels. And basically, the message here is that, you know, the, the pretty much the law of attraction, you know. And you've been attracting romance and love into your life for a reason. And perhaps with your existing relationship, you might need to try to have a, heart, a more heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you know. And honestly, honestly discuss you know, each and, you know, both of your feelings without, you know, any type of judgment, you know, and that's the only way you're going to be able to move forward with your relationship. So Libras, ladies and gentlemen, I certainly hope that this advice reading offers food for thought. Again, it's valid until the end of next month. I certainly look forward to hearing your comments and please give it a big thumbs up if you, if it resonates and if you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. Okay, if interested in a more personalized reading, keep in mind that you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot and enjoy your day.